everybody, welcome to The Forge. My name is Karen. Um, today we're gonna to talk about fluid dynamics, which is awesome. You may, I mean, I'm serious, actually, it's really cool. Um, but what is it? So what is fluid dynamics? So basically it looks at the, uh, how fluid, fluid flows. And I'm gonna demonstrate that today with some air. And I know what you're thinking, probably, that air is not a fluid, but actually, in fact, air is a fluid. Because a fluid basically just is a, oh, a substance that flows. So it could be gas, it could be a liquid, it could even be plasma. So we're going to um, move some air and talk a little bit about this fluid dynamics. So I'm going to move air with my vortex candy right here. Um, so I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, that wasn't very exciting. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, that wasn't very exciting either. Um, it wasn't exciting because you couldn't see what was going on, right? Because gas is basically invisible right now. So we're breathing all these, um, our atmosphere in is made up of oxygen and nitrogen and some other gases as well. Um, but the point is that you can't see it. And so it doesn't make for very exciting television, right? Okay, so we're gonna set up something else. And so we're gonna take a look at my little pyramid here. And I'm gonna move some air, see if I can do some science magic. All right, and... But science magic relates to science, but once again, you really can't see what's happening. So I wanna actually take a look and take a little better look at what's happening. So I'm gonna do that with my larger vortex scanner that is kind of more funny. And I'm gonna make some smoke in there. So I've got my little smoke machine. Fill it up. So, are you ready? What is going on? This is a little more exciting, wasn't it? I made a, what's called a vortex ring, or torus. So how did I do that? Uh, how did I make that ring? So vortex rings are basically made by forcing a fluid through a hole, like I've got here that I put in the back of my trash can. And the friction of the air on the edge of the hole makes it actually curve back in on itself and create that vortex shape. Ooh. And you can kind of see I'm doing it by just pressing on the back material. And you can see my smoke in there because it's kind of translucent. So when I force the air in my candle, it travels into the relatively still calmness of the room and creates that ring shape. It, without the uh, air disruption, if there's no um, wind or whatever, it takes goes pretty far actually. So um, I'm going to have you challenge you at home to make your own vortex candy. You can do that a couple different types of materials and uh, like two liter bottles or cups. And have a great day, everyone. Download instructions for this and other STEM at home activities at smv.org/stayconnected.